to one pizza too many. Cooking and unboxing videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, One Pizza Too Many. Now today, I'm not in my usual setting in my garden kitchen because it's absolutely hammering it down. The wind's blowing, so we're in college, um, where I work, my day-to-day -day job, um, and I'm with one of my colleagues, uh, Chef Matthews, um, so he's going to help me today. We've just done a video with a live broadcast to our students watching um, from home via team, so we thought, you know what, we'll continue that theme and we're going to recreate your video now uh, between us. Something a little bit different, um, we're going to create a vegan gluten free pizza um, that's grain free, oil free, um, carb, low carb, um, so yeah, it's a real healthy option and we're going to use a cauliflower base to do this with. Um, Instead of egg, we're going to use aquafaba, so the liquid from chickpeas. So before we start, uh, make sure you uh, hit the bell to get notifications of when I release a new video and you subscribe to the channel. And obviously make sure you visit us over on Facebook and Instagram at One Pizza Too Many. Um, so let's get into this. So we're going to talk you through the ingredients. And then when you come back, Ian's going to go through some of the veg and some of the prep that we're going to do for the pizza. Ingredients that we're going to be using today are chickpeas, although not all of the peas themselves. We're just going to use some of the aquafaba liquid as an egg substitute. Gram flour, which is a chickpea flour. One head of cauliflower. I'm going to use some cloves of garlic from this fresh bulb, one red onion, some fresh kale, some basil and some mushrooms. And that is everything that you need to recreate this dish if you wanted to have a go at home yourself. Okay, thanks Simon. Yeah, uh, nice to see everybody. Uh, first time uh, I've joined Simon on one of his uh, YouTube videos, so I've been uh, watching them as well uh, and watching closely his unboxing videos and things that he's been making so yeah. it's really interesting to come and join Simon today uh, and we're going to like I said work on his, uh, his cauliflower pizza that he's designed today so looking forward to it hopefully it'll be there's lots of taste in it and uh, some, some good flavour so it's uh, I know it's gluten free and everything else free but we're going to really smash it with the flavour hopefully uh, so basically uh, we've got some washed cauliflower uh, I've got an old red onion that we're going to prep and I've just got some garlic on my board that I've peeled and I've just started to chop already yeah so pretty straightforward uh, like you always do fingers are on top of your knife we're just going to crush this down we'll add a little bit of salt so we can just make this into a, uh, a little paste uh, and again from working with Simon and then uh, following him on his YouTube I've also invested in uh, uh, a yeah, ninja foodie as well, yeah. so it's, uh, I'm using my ninja foodie at the minute, uh, more or less every other day at home, uh, so, which is pleasing my wife because we're not using the cooker at, uh, hardly at all, so cr created some really good dishes, so thanks to Simon for introducing me to that. Uh, a little bit of salt in there. Post. Yeah, bills it post. <laughs> so we're just going to drop a little bit of salt into that and then just make a paste like we would. So use it tip of your knife. Uh, we're just going to start working that salt into the garlic just to make a, a nice little smooth paste. Real. Uh, and then like we said, cauliflower is ready, being washed, and we're just going to turn that into a cauliflower rice, aren't we, Chef? Yep. And the cauliflower rice is the base to the pizza. Okay, so that's the main ingredient to it. So the garlic we're going to use for the topping, um, which we're going to cook out in the pan in a minute. Um, so once Ian's got that on the board. Yeah, so garlic's done, Chef. Yeah, so next is we're going to peel. So we're going to top and tail and peel a red onion. We're going to half it and then we're going to slice it. Fantastic, cheers, yeah. So 
right up there, just going to set the roots off, yeah, peel it downwards. And onions, you can pre-peel them, you can have them peeled in a bowl, just leave the root attached and they'll last in the fridge for up to about seven days, and cling filmed, so you just leave the root on. Like so, yeah, yeah fantastic. Just going to trim uh, the top off that side, cut it in half, we're going to go through the root, so we're not going through the onion, so chop it in half through the root. Uh, your root keeps it together like Simon's showed you before in his videos. Yeah, and we're just going to flat side on your board, uh, and I'm just working, letting you know after the work. Work backwards and forwards. It's great having an assistant on the video. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's not me chopping and stuff all the time. No. But it'll be me washing up a bit at the end. <laughs> so, one onion, nice and uh, finely sliced. And then onto our prep tray. Right, Chef, happy with that? Marvellous, marvellous. So, next we're going to move on to the Ninja Blender. Obviously, um, you know, how many viewers of the channel will know I've got a Ninja Blender as well. I've got the touchscreen version. Um, click on the tile above me now, and that'll take you to the unboxing video um, of my Ninja Smart Screen Blender. So Ian's now going to um, basically put all this cauliflower in, in the blender. We're going to pulse it, and it's going to make a really nice, fine cauliflower rice. If you didn't have a blender, uh, A, why not, and B, uh, just use a grater, yeah, on the coarse grater, and you'll end up with a cauliflower rice anyway. So we're just filling it all up. Yeah, cheers Simon. So popping these florets in, yeah. Like I said, we've washed them, cut them into small pieces, uh, get them into your blender, lid on, lock, and then we can start, just start to pulse it, you can see. Obviously trying to talk over that machine, uh, not used to doing videos with Simon on YouTube, so yeah, pulse away, but we don't want to over, over pulse it because we want to end up with a nice like cauliflower rice looking. Yeah. Right Chef, yeah. we we'll a few more pieces, trying to get as much as we can in that uh, beautiful cauliflower, last piece, a little bit chunky, so I'll just Cut that, make that a little bit easier. Lead back on, do you want them bits in, Chef? Yeah, we'll get them all in. Why not? Where's yeah. not one? No. So, lid on, lock again, and then pull. Right, I think we're about there, Chef. So, like Blue Peter, it's some we made earlier. Okay, so we've just blitzed up one, and this is the second one, so we'll, go, so we'll have two cauliflowers, or two heads worth of cauliflower. So Ian's just going to tip it onto this tray. Just pop the blade out, pull the blade out, check it. There you go, Chef. So you then just sift through it, because the blender will miss some. We'll just sift it through it, and we're spreading it out. And it's quite wet, okay? When you rub it, it sticks to your hand, it's wet. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna dry this off in the oven. You can use a pan, so if you wanted to stir it in a pan, and however, we've got a nice big combi oven over there, rationale, so um, we're gonna put it in there. So, um, join me over at the oven. So, um, we're over at the combi oven. It's on 180 on heat. I'm just gonna open it up. Right, so we've just put the cauliflower in and we've swapped sides just to confuse you. <laughs> so Ian is now going to start cooking off the garlic with some of the onion in this little frying pan and you might be questioning why we're using a little induction hob when we've got all of this equipment behind us. Well, to turn all that on, 
I've got to put all the gas vents on and I don't think you'll be able to hear us in the video so we thought we'll just use this little induction hob um, on the combi oven over there. So he's going to switch this on. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And he's just turned it to about number four. And then while he's doing that, I'm going to chop these mushrooms. mushrooms. Yeah. Cheers, Simon. Thank you. So I've just got this pan warming, like Simon said, uh, a pizza with no oil in at all. Yeah. So I'm going to pop the uh, garlic paste that we did earlier straight into the pan, uh, followed by some of the onions. Just going to break these onions up a little bit as well, just to make it uh, easy to cook a little bit quicker. And while Simon's chopping away. Smells good, chef. Already we're starting to get some uh, lovely smells and flavours coming from this. The cauliflower obviously smells delicious. I like cauliflower, raw cauliflower is fantastic. Uh, eat quite a bit of cauliflower, grow quite a bit of stuff on the allotment at all. Um, and onions and garlic, classic combination. Uh, and everybody loves fried onions, don't they, when they're yeah. out and about. And you can smell fried onions just like being at the same time. So we better start on that, Chef. Brilliant. And these are nearly done. So we're just going to look after this in pan. Obviously we've got no oil in the pan. Want to keep it as healthy as possible. So as we start cooking, uh, moisture is going to come out of the onions and out of the garlic as well, and start to create a little bit of steam in that pan. So keep moving. Simon's done uh, quite a few mushrooms for us. So we're going to take some of Simon's mushrooms and we'll start getting those into the pan as well. So a little touch of salt. Get that going. Fantastic. And then what we can do, the salt's going to draw some of the moisture out of the onions. We're just going to put a tray on the top and hopefully that'll create some uh, evaporation, some liquid. Yeah, there you go, Chef. Good. So we'll just leave that for a couple of minutes. So join us again in a minute uh, and I'll bring you in a bit closer so you can see what's happening. It's been cooking for about three to five minutes. So we're just going to have a quick look. Okay. so. Always check if things are hot, it's not too bad, so take it off. Yeah, looking good, Simon. Really coming down, getting some really beautiful you see, you see that? smells nice. and flavours. Look at that. Looking really good. You can see all that moisture that's come out of the mushrooms. You've not put anything in that, so it's created that, all that moisture. So now you're just going to add a load of this kale. Yeah, so we've got some kale, fresh kale, what's been washed. Uh, just going to tear it into small pieces. Add this as part of our uh, topping and then mix this through. So we're just going to cut this down gently, not going to overcook it, and then once it goes on top of the pizza uh, and it goes in the oven, uh, it can crisp up a little bit as well inside. Yeah. And then I've got some cracked black pepper. I'm going to add a good generous spoonful of cracked black pepper. You know I love this. Everybody's favourite chef. Nice bit. Black pepper, yeah. one of our favourites, it's a bit of chef thing I think, don't it? Everybody yeah. loves a beautiful bit of pepper. This is cooking out really well now, you can see the kale starting to change colour. Yeah, really nice. So next, we're just, while the cauliflower finishes off, we're just going to get our tray ready to spread the mixture and the base on. So what we're going to do, we've got a bowl, a tray and some greaseproof paper. We're using the bowl just to draw around. Get it in the middle. Could you make this on a pizza tray, Sam? You know, yeah. you want your round pizza trays? That'd probably be even better, yeah. One of the round pizza trays you might have at home. I'd probably double up the um, grease proof paper because you don't a lot of my holes in, don't yeah. they? So they might go through. So there we go. Circle, then I'm just going to turn this upside down so that we can still see the pen line that I've just drawn. However, um, obviously the food's then not going to come into contact with the pen. Um, and what we'll mention is, uh, obviously, some of you might be thinking, where Ian's, where's Ian come from? Yeah, we do work with each other, so we're in our work bubble, so don't panic. We are COVID safe. <laughs> okay, let's go and check the cauliflower, as that's now ready to take out of the oven. Yeah, that's the oven done. Another 10 minutes gone. Open it, let all the heat out first. So that's 
looking really good. So that's now, that's now good enough for what we want to do with it now. So we're going to go back over to the main bench and Ian's going to strain this off. Okay, so now we've given this 10 minutes just to cool down because obviously the tray's really hot and we're going to squeeze the cauliflower out. So we're going to use some cheesecloth or muslin or if you're at home you can use a, a clean tea towel. Make sure it's not been washed with any loaded detergents because you'll be able to taste it. Okay, so we're now just going to lift this tray off and carefully, if I can. It smells amazing, Chef. It's it does, really, doesn't it? Really nice. I love cauliflower. Yeah, I like, I'm a big fan of cauliflower, but that does look really... My mother-in-law, Flo, she loves cauliflower, but uh, my wife won't do cauliflower. Right. Yeah, it does look really nice. And missed a bit then. Yeah. Okay, so this will, we're going to squeeze this out and we're going to see if we manage to get any moisture out. Okay, there we go. Cheers, Chef. So, just going to bring this cloth back round. Cheers, cloth, yeah. Start to work and twist. And you can see, yeah, we're getting quite a bit of moisture coming out of that as well, yeah. Wow, loads. And that's that's been in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to keep twisting and squeezing, Chef, trying to get as much out as possible. You got this really dry, Chef? Yeah. yeah. And the liquid is brown because obviously uh, it's been in the oven roasting, so it's mixing with the... And you can see that, guys. Mixing with the other cauliflower. I suppose that liquid, if you didn't want to waste it, you could use that, couldn't you? If you were making a Sunday dinner, you could put that to your gravy, yeah, couldn't you? Add gravy extra brown. flavour, yeah. Add it to a soup, if you were making a, a soup or something, so probably no waste. Still getting lots of liquid out of coming out of this one. Yeah, for a cauliflower, roasted cauliflower <laughs> smoothie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not? With some, with some bison grass. Quite a lot of liquid still coming out of that. I'm just going to unravel it a little bit, just move that cauliflower around inside, and then just give it a final. So, this is all natural water that occurs in the cauliflower, so you wouldn't expect that, would you? This is like doing your washing before we had electronic washing machines, mate, when we used to have to. I, I don't know, mate. Well, I'm not yeah, that old. You're not that old, mate. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> Yeah, wringing it, stuff out of it, sink before you put it through rollers. Wow. Show me here is now, Chef. Right. I think we're there with this, yeah. right? So we're going to put that into a clean bowl. Marvellous. It almost looks sort of cheesy. Cheese like, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Cheese like, yeah. But you can see now it's sort of crumbly. Yeah, it's really. Just, uh, nice. Good amount of liquid coming out of that, Chef, yeah. yeah. Real. So we'll move that to one side. Right, next, next, we need to add some more flavour now into this. So, the way we're going to do that. We're going to add some salt. teaspoon of garlic powder. We're not going to go in too heavy with garlic because um, the amount of garlic that we put in the topping. Yeah. We have some dried oregano. We're not adding any, any fresh to the base because we don't want to add any liquid. So we're using dried. Then one spoon of dried basil. So again you're building flavour all the time, Chef. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to go in with some of this chickpea water, so aqua, aqua fabric. This is going to be an egg substitute. So a lot of videos you'll see on YouTube say to add a fresh egg, to bind it together. We're trying to do it completely vegan, so we're going to go in with some aqua fabric. So we're going to do three spoons, and there's two heads of cauliflower in here at the minute. 
So like you said, we squeezed hot water out of cauliflower, but yeah. that aquafaba acts as a like an egg substitute. Yeah, so it should it should hold it all together, bring it all together. Right. And if you wanted to, um, you could whip this leftover into meringues for a vegan meringue. And then we're going to go in with some gram flour. So this is chick leaf, uh, chick pea flour. Put my teeth in. Three spoons of this, and then all of this is going to get all mixed up together and incorporated in. Yeah, smells off of that amazing already. The smell, you know, herbs that you've put in yeah. coming through. And one thing I didn't do, I didn't put any pepper in. A little bit of pepper, more pepper. Love that pepper, chef. Yeah. So always into your hand first with these in case the lid comes pepper. off. There we go. Excellent, it's looking good. I'm just going to work this in and then I'm going to ditch the spoon and go in with my hand, work this round. So this flour is used, you may recognise it, used quite a bit for onion barges, coras, okay, Asian food. So there we have it. That's all mixed in. Marvellous. Really nice. Actually, it looks like a, a bread dough now, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like a piece of dough, so it's changed colour, hasn't it, altogether? There we go. Fantastic. Okay, Ooh, right. so then we're going to use maybe not, not all of it because it's quite a lot, and then we're going to boil it up. I'm going to put a ball in the middle of our circle that we've drawn on the paper. And we're just going to, like you would a normal pizza, we're just going to push this out. And we don't want it too thick, but we don't want it too thin. Reason being, if it's too thin, you'll never get it off the paper. But if it's too thick, it won't dry out and you'll end up just with a, a stodgy mess. Yeah. Making me hungry already, Chef. I can't wait to, really uh, to try this. I've never tried this, so... I tried a vegetarian one, but not a complete vegan one, so I'm looking forward to this, yeah. Yeah, and those of you that follow me on the channel will know that I'm not the biggest <laughs> fan of uh, vegan food, so, because I'm very meat-based, so this is a new one for the channel. Right, I think that looks good. Excellent, mate, yeah, well done. So there we are. Yeah, nice round pizza base. So again, um, while I wash my hands, Ian's then going to go and put this in the oven, and we're going to bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay. Of it's going. Okay, so it now means that we'll switch it off so you can hear me. So the buzz has just gone off. And let's take it out. And look at that. Oof. The floor nearly saw it before us. I'm just alter my cloth, so I can hold that. Really nice. So you need to par bake this a little bit, okay, so that it cooks properly when we top it. Okay, so let's go over to the bench and we're going to top this ready to put back in the oven and bake. Got it? Look at that. Beautiful. That really nice. nice. Lovely colour, chef. Yeah. Smells good, doesn't it? Beautiful, man. It does look nice. So, next what we're going to do, we're going to top it with some tomato sauce. Again, little pin bar above my head will take you to a video that I've done previously on how to make a tomato sauce for your pizza topping. We've just used the Ninja Foodie blender that we had out earlier, so the Ninja blender, um, and we've just pulsed this a little bit, and it's really good because you can put the top back on, keeps it nice and airtight, and then when you come to use it, just lift the lid open, and you can tip some of it out. Yeah, I put about two spoons worth on and then spoon in the middle, work it round. Looks good chef. Really smell nice. that from here as well, basil, fresh basil in that yeah. is chef. Yeah, it smells beautiful. Nice. Excellent, so there we go. So next, uh, Ian's going to put some of this lovely topping on. Yeah, so it's topping that we made earlier. There's kale, garlic, uh, mushrooms and onions. It's cooled down nicely now, so just like a classic pizza, 
if you've been following Simon's video about myself, so we're just keeping a little rim away from edge. Are we going to load it, Chef? Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, it's going about right, that. Okay. So. Obviously, with a cauliflower base, you don't want to, you don't want to go too mad, and obviously with the mushrooms being quite wet, um, you don't want to go too mad because you don't want it to go soggy. Let's get some of that beautiful kale on there. Yeah, you see that's that wilted, way. yeah, kept its colour as well. It smells yeah. delicious. And then uh, we've got some uh, some fresh basil. Excellent. So we're just gonna. Some people cook it with the basil on, some people cook pieces with the basil off, some people don't use it, whatever you want, isn't it? Yeah, we're not the basil police. And again, smell from that is just amazing already, so uh, we're just, you're building layers and yeah. flavour all the time, so it's looking really, really good. Fantastic, look at so, well done. There we go. Let's go and put this in the oven, so this is going to go back in the oven so again about 10 minutes um, and then join us again as we're taking it out of the oven uh, and we'll bring you back over same settings so we'll join you back in a minute okay buzz has just gone off let's have a little look look at that Say that looks pretty good, wouldn't you, Chef? Yeah, it looks fantastic, mate. It smells delicious. Nice, right. Yeah, good colour. Let's, uh, in it over to the bench and have a look. Okay, so we've just taken it out, as you saw. Looking really good. Nice crisp edge. Really good. Yeah, good colour, Chef. Smells nice. So, question is, can we get this off here onto there? Good luck. Let's have a look. Try your best. Think what I'm going to do is slide it off the tray onto the plate and then try and slide it. I think when you try a table set, you can pull it like you're doing crappy chef. I'm not like that. <laughs> hey, yeah, there you go. A little bit towards the end. Yeah. Oh, mm. that smells amazing. It really does smell nice. And obviously thinking about the way it looks, give the plate a little wipe and then a little bit of, little bit of basil, a bit of crap black pepper. Oh. So there we have it a rub, vegan, gluten free, oil free, uh, grain free, dairy, dairy free, dairy free sure. yeah. Um, Pizza using a cauliflower base with kale, mushrooms, onions, and garlic as the topping, with some fresh basil and that tomato sauce. Um, I think as a, a non-bread pizza goes, I think it looks looks alright. Like yeah, pizza, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Really yeah. Nice, yeah, really think, nice. Yeah. Smells amazing. Some good foot smells coming off it. Really nice. I think what could have maybe enhanced it more is if we had some um, vegan ricotta. Maybe dumped a little bit of vegan ricotta on it near the end. Yeah. Um, but overall, I think it looks good. Shall we have a little yeah, taste? Yeah, let's have a little taste, chef. See what we think. Sounds nice. Pretty good cool, through it. Yeah. So, nice and crisp with eggs. Yeah, got a good crust on it. Yeah, it's a Yeah, nice crust. Yeah, it's not, it's not really crispy, but. Um, Obviously, I think, don't think it looks bad. Let's have a taste. Oh, it smells delicious. Mm. Tastes alright, doesn't mm. it? For a yeah. non meat pizza, yeah. no bread. It's lovely, full of flavour, moist. Low, really low carb. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, real. Yeah, well done, chef. Okay, so, make sure. Um, you leave me a comment about what you think about this pizza. Have you had a go at a cauliflower based pizza before? Um, what has worked well for you? Have you tried cooking it in a pan instead of an oven? What toppings have gone well for you? Would you even bother with a vegan pizza? I don't know, you tell me. Um, leave me some comments below. As always, I'll try and reply to all or any comments. Um, 
head over to see us on Facebook and Instagram for all the in-between action videos and pictures and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell so you get alerted when I release a new video and like I said in the previous videos I'm trying to do one every Saturday morning depending um, what we're doing at work yeah um, so till next time everyone just want to say thanks for Ian for joining me today on today's video it's been really good yeah thanks for inviting me chef sorry yeah no, really sorry. enjoyed it been great yeah let me know what you think about having a guest should we have some more guests on should we have Ian back on let me know in the comments below and make sure obviously you're sharing the video uh, with all your vegan friends okay <laughs> till next time see you again thanks one pizza too many